If you've watched Mr. Robot, you'll remember the scene where Romero's computer catches fire when the FBI tamper with it. I wanted to make a similar solution, so this is what I came up with. It's a mini SSD, however, packed with thermite and in an auto-ignition mechanism. I built it inside an optical drive as I needed some more room, and optical drives and SSDs use the same connectors, so hopefully it'll be a bit more inconspicuous. You arm the device by holding the eject button on the optical drive for about 4 seconds, then a short beep will indicate that the device is good to go. Then when the computer is moved, a server will be triggered, the lighter will be switched on, the thermites will be ignited, and the SSD will burn in temperatures in excess of 2000 degrees Celsius. And this all takes place in just a regular standard optical drive. The whole device is powered using a microcontroller running Arduino. Links are in the description to two build logs I've done on this, so if you want to find out more about how I made this project, check those. So now it's time for the real life test. Everything is ready. As you can see, I've constructed a motor around this thing. So if anything does get out of hand, I can just push it into there. I've also got a hose to put out anything that goes wrong. Uh, so the device is armed, it's ready. So now I'm just gonna try and tilt it and let's see what happens. Hopefully it works. So at this point I thought it was going on a bit too long, maybe the servo was caught fire so I thought I'd better end it. If you look closely you can see that water is actually uh, boiling off the top of this thing so I thought I'd better leave it alone just for a few minutes. Though if I can get the camera to focus you can actually see the bits of molten iron that have formed on top of the SSD. So now it's cooled off a bit I'm going to try and take it apart and show you the full extent of the damage. Though as I was taking apart, these molten beads fell out. They're probably made of iron, uh, made when the molten iron in the thermite solidified. I also found this chip, which uh, looks like it came from the SSD itself. It's a bit slimy and gooey, and uh, it's very brittle, very crumbly. So I don't think you're going to be retrieving any data from this at all. So if I manage to pry this open, you can see the full extent of the damage. Everything's really charred and broken, <laughs> I would presume. So if we take a closer look at the main thing here, the SSD, you can see that it's got a load of molten plastic over it, probably from those bags. Everything's all kind of warm. Uh, it's very crumbly. It's, uh, it's bad. I don't think you're going to be getting any data off this. So for fun, I thought I'd try and actually get it working again. When I plug in the power, the servo does actually twitch, which is a good sign. It also arms. So I hear the little beep. Although when I tilt it, it doesn't actually move the servo at all. So I think some of those wires are a bit broken, but apart from that, it's it looks okay. So if we take a close look at the main board here, you can see that everything is a little charred. However, later on I did actually get it to work, all the components on it work fine. Though the lighter is a different story, it's a bit melted. And well, I only put a small amount of butane in it to begin with, so it wouldn't create a massive gas explosion. And I'm just checking here to see if there's any left in, and no, it seems to be, it's all gone. So yeah, it seems as though this product was a resounding success. Everything worked. First time, I might add. Uh, so yeah, I do need to go wash my hands, but uh, uh, remember to like this video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, I'm at Satonic, and stay tuned for more hacking videos.